What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. Um, this is a collective reading. Cap through sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. I got a channel message in, so I decided to do this reading. Um, ugh, yikes, just saying, just saying. Yikes. Okay. So the channel I received was um, Beware, a very karmic um, Libra energy is um, going to try to um, set you up and call you on a three way call. It would be very smart not to uh, engage with this person. Uh, for some, it is a family member. For some, it is a so called friend. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. So some kind of three-way call energy, very karmic, low vibrational Libra energy. Uh, it can be masculine or feminine Libra. They could have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, or Jupiter, if that resonates for you. Um, but their low vibrational gossip, drama, he said, she said, no honesty, trust, integrity, morals, respect, values, etc. Um, I heard their goal and intention was to try to set you up in some shape, form, or fashion. So... Um, the, the whole reason they're trying to, and they have you on freeway. No, I didn't hear who they have you on freeway, freeway with, but the whole intention and premise behind this is to set you up. They're trying to catch you in something or get you to admit to something or say something or uh, something, um, wh whatever it is, but they're trying to set you up in some shape, form, or fashion, but they're going to reach out to you, but they're going to have you on freeway. So somebody needs to be very, 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 very careful. They're obviously doing this for strategic reasons. Um, it's a smart individual, but a very sneaky, low-down, smart individual. Low vibrational person. Spirit messages to have perspective. Um, so somebody needs to be very careful. It can be masculine or feminine Lib masculine or fem Libra. For, for some, it is a family member, and for some, it is a so-called friend. So like a friend of me energy. Um, I'd be smart not to engage with this person. So if you know who this person is in your life and you can um, identify who they are, um, I wouldn't even answer the call. Or if you answer it, just, you know, say you got to go or something, you know. I mean, I'm serious. Um, but you can take the advice or leave it. But it sounds like it's about to happen soon. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like they're in contemplative energy to do this. This is exactly what it sounds like. The moon reverse, not a sword's reverse. For some, you will catch them in a lie. For some, you have caught them in a lie in the past. For some, you will not answer. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, my God. Okay, so, so this very significant three-way phone call, but they're not going to tell you they have you on three-way. Now, you know, you're supposed to notify people that they're on three-way, but whoever this is, is not a professional call. It is a personal call. Um, so, you know, just saying. So they're trying to catch you in something. They're trying to be sneaky and deceptive about it. Um this, that's true low vibrational air sign energy right there. It just really is. But whoever this is for, um, the person, you, the one that's about to receive this sneaky three-way call, her, for some, you're not even going to answer. For some, you've caught them in a lie in the past. For some, you're about to catch them in a lie. So this is catching them in a lie soon, already caught them in a lie, or um, not answering the call energy. Secrets coming out that you have caught them in a lie in the past, that you did catch, or you're about to catch them in a lie, or that you're just not going to answer the freaking phone. How that resonates. For some, it is a Pisces on the other line. For some, this low vibrational Libran. set up a master plan in the past to have 
a Pisces intentionally go after someone they thought you were interested in. And this Pisces got pregnant. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Good God. Um, whoever this resonates with. So this is crazy. This is true low, low vibrational energy. So um, for some of you guys, I heard the a Pisces will be on the other end. So the Pisces will be silent on the three-way for some. And for some, this low vibrational Libra, um, I heard in the past had this evil, nasty, low vibrational plan. And it sounds like it worked. To have this, uh, it sounds like a femme Pisces go after someone you were interested in. So I think you're a femme energy. Or for some of you could be masculine, but I feel for like you're a femme. Um, and the Pisces got pregnant. So the Pisces has a child by someone this air, um, this sorry, this low vibrational Libra thought you were interested in, um, in the past. Now, um, but you, but you were not. Okay, her, but you were not. But you were not interested in this person. And for some, you told this person in the past. And for some, you told this person in the past. So, well, what the crap, man? If you told this low vibrational Libra in the past you were not interested in this person, why the crap they, why they went through all this greater lengths to do it? I have no freaking idea, but they still did. Um, they're extremely, extremely, extremely low vibrational energy. Extremely, who the crap this is. I, I'm serious. Uh, for some, it's your own family member, um, I feel. Because I heard for some, this Libra will be a family member. For some, it'll be a frenemy. Uh, a friend, but not really. So, like a frenemy. So, you play it in how it resonates. But for some, it could be an ex-spouse. For some, it could be an ex-partner. For some, it could be um, um, uh, someone you, well, I heard they thought you were interested in them. So, for some, it could be somebody from the past is what I'm trying to say. For some, it could have been a new person that maybe this low vibrational Libra thought you were interested in. But I heard for some, you told this low vibrational Libra that you wasn't interested in this person in the past. But yet they still had this grand plan to have this Pisces sweep in there and basically get impregnated. And whoever this resonates with, it worked. It worked because uh, apparently they have a child by whoever this is. I didn't hear the sign of whoever this person is. You plug it in how it resonates. Okay. Yeah, fruition reversed. Dear God. Yeah, I would say so. Fruition reversed. Also, number 37 could be very significant. It could be a significant number in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. Number 37. It could be age of you or somebody you're connected to. It could be a possible social security number, possible green card number, possible dead birth number. Um, a lottery number, a significant number, reoccurring number you're seeing out on billboards or advertisements, number 37, fruition reversed. You never wanted this person. So why this low vibrational Libra went through all these great lengths is beyond. For some, it is a former co-worker of yours. For some, it was a former partner of the Libras. Okay. So, for some of you guys, um, it was this person, um, sexual partner. Okay, her sexual partner. So, for some of you guys, it was a former sexual partner of the Libras. And for some, it was a former co-worker of yours. Um, the person that um, this Pisces basically went after and pursued and it worked and they produced a child out of it, basically. For some, the Pisces could still be with this person or not. You plug in how it resonates. But um, you, need, you didn't want this person. You didn't want them. And um, for some, it is a former co-worker of yours. And for some, it is a former sexual partner of the low vibrational Libras. So fruition. So nothing came of it um, because... You didn't want it, nothing to come of it. And for some, you told this low vibrational Libra, but they didn't, they apparently don't like to listen to you. So you plug it in how it resonates. My goodness, this is terrible. 
and nothing will come in this phone call if you handle it correctly. Very smartly. Okay, I heard it. Nothing will come in this phone call if you handle it correctly and smartly. So fruition reverse, nothing will be produced of this phone call. So this low vibrational Libra, they've got this grand master low vibrational setup plan to try to set you up in such a form or fashion with phone call with Pisces for some. Um, but I heard nothing's going to come of it if you handle it correctly. For some, I heard you're not even going to answer the phone. For some, um, for some, you caught them in a lie in the past. For some, you're about to catch them in a lie. So if you conver converse with them, I think you're going to be very smart with them, is what I'm trying to say. So you plug it in how that resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. Sounds like a bunch of drama, if you ask me. This is exactly what this is. A bunch of freaking drama, man. People should have better things to do than create freaking drama. And I'm serious. This is sad. Several shocking series of shame events are going to occur with this. Not good for these two people. Okay. Heard several shocking series of shame events are going to occur with this. Not good for these two people. So for the low vibrational Pisces and the, I'm sorry, the low vibrational Libra and the Pisces on the silent end of the third three-way call. It's not a professional call. It's a personal call. For some, it's a family member. For some, it's a so-called friend, aka friend of me. So you plug it in, how it resonates. All right. I love you guys. Hope this helped. Namaste.